Col de la Croix de Fer is a mainstay of the Tour de France, frequently being used on stages that finish up summit finishes such as Alpe d'Huez or the Col de Glibier. But that doesn't mean it's not a mammoth climb in its own right, testing pros and amateurs alike. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go climb it. Starting from the Barrage de Verny, you can allow yourself to gently spin your legs to warm up and get into a steady rhythm. Before a short descent, three kilometers in where the climb kicks up. Sandwiched above a roaring river and tall forest-like surroundings, you slowly wind your way up a steady, if not all that steep, six to seven percent ramp before reaching the small settlement of Article. One of the main characteristics of the Croix de Fer is its length and result in deceiving gradients. At 27 and a half kilometers long and averaging just 4.7%, you can often be lulled into a false sense of security. The first of these short but steep sections of around 10% arrive as you reach Article, before the climb eases back to a more manageable gradient once again. As you snake your way up to Le Riviere de Almont, this gives you the last chance to stock up on fluids or food before you recommence your grind to the top. The misleading average gradient hits you once again with full force. After a few sweeping kilometers and hairpins after Le Riviere, you are then greeted with a wall that may well feel like you're pedaling through treacle. There are sections that reach over 12% and you may well be accustomed to seeing numbers higher than this on your bike computer. But keep grinding away, as once you're through the section, you have the psychological boost of having the steepest part of the climb behind you. Having started the climb at one dam, you're faced with another towards the summit, as you weave through and above the Barrage de Grand Masson. This leads to the climb opening up and out of its woodland for the first time into a vast and dramatic valley. From here onwards, the gradient to the summit is far kinder, rewarding you for all the graft you and your bike have been through so far. At a height near 2,000 meters, the views can be obscured, as is a notable feature when riding in the Alps, as is also the ever-changeable weather. With about two and a half K to go, you'll reach the turnoff for the Col de Glandon. Keep right and continue on the road that hugs the left side of the valley for the final slog to the top. Quite a fur translates into Iron Cross, which is what will welcome you 1300 meters of climbing after you first started. The sight of the Quite a fur sign is a highly gratifying moment as you emulate every other cyclist to grace this mythical ascent. 